Hey, oh, up? Greetings, like all bless up. Welcome back again to the recovery room of racism, non anonymous. With me, Sis Adana DV, covering African who is enslaved in America, Keka, and who is a representative from the Voices in the Margins. I am also true to the cause of African liberation via unification and utilizing the tool of healthy and effective communications. I, this is a follow-up from today's daily rant on blogtalkradio.com where uh, we, me, myself, and I have a daily meeting of Racism Non-Anonymous, which is that revolutionary 12-step program that has been uniquely designed with the African in mind. And we meet daily on Blog Talk Radio at 2 p.m., Monday through Friday at this point, um, for approximately 30 to 45 minutes. And I share, I am now in uh, the sort of rant mode, uh, and I suspect it was about three weeks ago um, when my Pandora's box was open and the emotion, the energy that was set in motion was energy consistent with uh, sort of raging waters. You, when the waters have been troubled and they begin to rage and move and flow and start pushing every damn thing out of the way, that is the um, Pandora's box that I'm refer and the emotion uh, certainly is anger, um, and anger on the high scale of anger, closer to rage. <laughs> Me, Mama Earth is raging, heating up. Things have picked up and heat up, you know, such that the eruption happened. A few weeks back, and I it was revealed to me and I stated my plan to for at least the next 30 days to do a daily rant um, during during the blog talk uh, half hour that I have available half hour or rather 45 minutes half hour live and an additional 15 minutes in the archive type you know after a show which is okay we make it work and so Spirit revealed to me that it was useful in time for this type of cleansing to happen. And this cleansing is certainly one where I am working to externalize or get up out of me <laughs> some shit, the stinky poo, externalizing the stinky poo for the shit. Um, and giving people back their shit um, and or simply identifying whose shit it is and then determining what to do with it. Um, it is shit that has sort of been forced, <laughs> fed upon me and we tend to force our shit on others all the time. Every time we open our mouths and speak some shit, it's not always forced every time. Yet yeah, that is how we do, in fact, force. Because if someone hasn't asked us for our thoughts or opinion about self, for example, then, and you just come at a person, at me with, well, you need this, and this is what's wrong with you. It's like, it's your shit that you are forcing me to hear. Now, once you begin to to do that, of course, it is up to me to protect myself from your shit. I.e., I can choose to get up and leave, so people say, well, you don't have to stay at the farm. If you don't like what people are saying or doing, you can leave. Uh, you know, it's like, okay, well, it's just that this was home, and this was considered my family, so why would I want to get up and leave? It seems to me it may be more appropriate to support you with keeping your shit to yourself and share that shit if and when uh, an invitation is extended to do so. Why is it that I have to fucking leave home and leave my family 
because people are unable, unwilling, and unready to uh, control, contain, manage, take care of, clean up their own shit. Now, if they have some shit that they believe belongs to me, then certainly I would encourage and support them giving it the fuck back. Yet, uh, people, if they experience it thrown or forced at them, they are likely to throw it or force it back, you know, at you, uh, as opposed to, um, you know, having a conversation that doesn't involve force and manipulation and coercion and uh, any of those type of things. And it might go something like, well, excuse me, Sister Abna, yet when you said X, Y, and Z, it sounded like you were suggesting C, D, and E about me. Is that correct? And then I am in the position to confirm and or clarify and correct uh, what it was that I was intending to get across. Yet if you just say, well, you said that and this means that, blah, 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 you didn't just force all your shit at me again. It's like, ugh. Unhealthy, ineffective communication pattern. That's an example of that. So I wanted to, this is the first, uh, you know, to see how this works out. I, um, this is my first time with that, so let's see what this looks like. Okay, peace.